Hi, it's Bill Cole, president of Janet King of Manitoba Commercial Cleaning Services. I thought I'd, uh, today I would talk to you a little bit about an interesting um, large customer of ours. So just to give you a little bit of history, uh, last year in 2018, and about starting in May, uh, we received a phone call uh, from this large customer that wanted us to come in and take over an existing contract that they decided to change commercial cleaning companies. Well, throughout the next four months after that, uh, there ended up being seven locations uh, that they requested Janet King to come in and assume the cleaning services uh, because they, they weren't happy with uh, the existing cleaners and uh, they were uh, beginning to be happy with us. So therefore, um, we took over these large facilities. These facilities range anywhere between 10 to 60,000 square feet. They're medical, medical, uh, so they require uh, tier one and tier two cleaning. So this uh, process usually uh, involves quite a bit of work. Uh, Crystal, our operations manager, had to put in a lot of hours. There's a lot of training involved. And unfortunately, this type of process goes to tender. And it was in the final year of the, of the tender, so we had to submit a new RFP in October, which we did. And that brings me to today um, and the reason for my sharing it. Last week, we got called in. We were shortlisted to participate further in the RFP process and we had to do our interview stage. So one of the things uh, we did was that I, I gathered a team together prior to the interview. We sat down, we discussed, okay, what types of questions are they gonna ask us? What are our responses going to be? Um, we laid out uh, who would be doing the majority of the talking. Uh, we made sure that we weren't gonna be speaking over each other, um, that we we're gonna be respectful. Uh, obviously that our our attire was appropriate uh, and so forth. So we laid all that out and uh, the following day went to our meeting and it went very well. I feel objectively that there was probably two questions that they asked us that we weren't uh, prepared for. Uh, however, I think we handled them well. Uh, it was a panel interview, so there was uh, six of them uh, and three of us. We have good relationships with them currently. Uh, however, it is a very price sensitive uh, process and we typically do not do well in a lot of these scenarios, mainly because of price. Today I'm hoping and I'm very hopeful that uh, we did well enough in the written component of the RFP and in the interview stage uh, and that we've impressed them enough um, and the feedback we're getting from uh, the, the people working at the ground level, are they, they are overly impressed uh, and very happy with our service. Not because we're perfect. And that is something that I said to them during the interview stage is that we're not um, pretending or telling you that, that we are the perfect commercial cleaning company. However, my response is always that we will respond and correct issues faster than anybody else. And they believe that and I, they know that. So I think it's gonna come down to, like most RFP processes, will price be the deciding factor on them deciding what commercial cleaning company they're going to take? Well, we're gonna to have to wait and see that. Today is Thursday, February the 14th, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, this is new for me. I am decided to do a little bit of video blogging uh, to increase my network and to grow my business. Uh, once again, it's Bill, president of Janet King of Manitoba.